What's up everyone? Welcome back. Today I've got a tip for you for the Cody Media Center. Um, one of the things I get asked a lot when people come and see my setup here at the house is, you know, this is great that you can go and pick your shows and your movies and watch your stuff, but uh, it doesn't give me the flexibility of what I get from TV, where I can just turn on a channel, let the channel run, and I don't have to constantly pick something every 10, 20, 30 minutes to watch. So kind of want to show you guys how you can mimic a TV channel. So in other words, you know, you set the TV to a channel, you let the channel play, and it just plays continuously throughout the day. So one of the things my kids really like to do is when they get home from school, they like to watch cartoons for a little bit before they get to work on their homework. So I'm going to show you today, we're going to go to uh, TV shows, and then we're going to go to videos and playlists, and I'll show you this new cartoons playlist. So here's a playlist I made for the kids where it goes through and finds all the latest cartoons added into the system uh, that have not yet been watched. And right here, it's like the first 10. So they can come home from school and they can just come here with a remote control, go to the new cartoons, and then select play. And it would just play these cartoons continuously. And when one cartoon is over, it will... Uh, just start playing the next one. No remote or anything. You can just play it like a channel would normally play. Uh, my wife is actually going back to school now, and she's in the same sort of boat. She likes to turn the TV on and just have the TV run while she's doing studying. Uh, so, you know, for when she was watching regular TV, she might do something like, uh, uh, you know, set up her laptop, and then she get the TV running on the Investigation Discovery Channel and just let that run for hours while she's studying. So what I've done here for her, same thing, ID Crime Shows New, uh, same thing. This goes and gets the five newest episodes in the library that are uh, true crime shows. And of course, we can modify this, but this gives you something like five hours of content. So same thing. Now, uh, these playlists are configured to show new shows, as in shows we haven't yet actually watched. Um I've got another one downstairs and in the wife's room where it doesn't pull the new shows. It just pulls random shows because uh, at some point, if you just show the new shows, you're going to run out of shows to watch and there won't be anything in your playlist anymore. But same thing. She goes here and for she goes to ID crime shows uh, and then just goes and hits play. And the program contains dramatizations of real life events and, and contains now, material uh, the shows that may play, be disturbing and, to some. And she can skip, you know, skip through them. Uh, if she wants to do that, but uh, they'll just run continuously as if it's an actual channel. Uh, and then there's some other stuff too, like new documentaries. Same thing. Just go get a random set of documentaries uh, that haven't yet been watched. Uh, so in the newest, you know, ordered by newest. So shake today how to do that. Uh, it's not that difficult as long as you actually have a media library. So if you're somebody who's using, uh, you know, add-ons, uh, like Exodus or Naviax or Phoenix or Sports Devil or whatever. Obviously, this is not going to work for you. Uh, you will have to use your remote constantly to queue up a new show uh, or movie or whatever. But uh, if you actually have your own media library and you have access to the device that's running the media center, then it's it's fairly fairly easy to do. So the standard way of doing this, if you wanted a playlist, you would go to TV shows and then you go to videos, go to playlists. And then there's an option down here to create a smart playlist. And here you've got a bunch of options. Like you can say if it were TV, you could switch this to episodes, give it a rule, or sorry, give it a name, and then pick some rules. Uh, you know, like newest, oldest, unwatched, watch, category, genre, all that kind of stuff. Set the amount of items, set your ordering if you want it to be random or whatever, and then save it. Um, however, if you use this sort of format, I, it takes a little while, and I'm not a big fan of it. I'd rather just go make the actual file myself. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to leave the Media Center and go back to Windows. And then what I do here is all the playlists for Kodi are stored in your users area. So for me, that's C, Users, Neil, App Data, Roaming, Kodi. And then in there is a folder called User Data. And then there's a folder called Playlists. And then inside playlist, there's a folder called video, and this is where your uh, your playlist files are. Now, for reference, and I've included a link in the description below, but you might want to start out here with the 
uh, Cody Wiki and just copy one of these samples. Just literally just highlight them all, copy, paste. Um, and this gives you a good starting point. Uh, but this will also explain what all the rules are and what all the switches are. So you literally just would right-click here, new text file, and then you name it something like, uh, you know, my channel. Uh, and it needs to be a .xsp, not a .txt. Yes. And then you'd go ahead and edit it. So I'm going to show you here. So, for example, on the cartoons, uh, we're going to take a look at this. This is fairly simple. You could actually do this in the UI in Cody. This one's fairly easy. Um, but yeah, you would just paste in that scaffolding from the wiki. And in this case, what we want to do is we just want to go get, we want to go get cartoons. Okay. So we're looking at where the uh, genre is animation. So this is any cartoon in the system and where the play count is zero, which means it's never been watched before. Then we want to get 10 of those items. And in this playlist, we want them to be ordered by date added descending. So in other words, go get me 10 cartoons that have not been played, ordered by the date they were added into the XBMC or Cody library. So that's it. That's the playlist. That, that'll give us 10 cartoons sorted by the newest ones, um, you know, the, the newest 10 items that we've got. Fairly simple there. Okay, now we look at something like the uh, ID crime shows for my wife's channel. And this one's got a lot more content in there, but, um, uh, you know, this is how this kind of flows here. So what we do, we got a couple of rules here as well. We're going to say, uh, you know, the playlist name is ID crime shows new. We want to match all the rules that we're defining. Uh, the first rule is, uh, only get episodes where uh, the TV show is one of these values. So this one was a little bit of a struggle for me because I couldn't set the genre to like crime because that would also give me scripted shows like Law and Order, um, things like that. You don't want those kind of shows. For her channel, she wants true crime shows that are not serial dramas where you don't need to have watched any of the previous episodes. Um, self-contained content. Another idea we could have done is we could have made a rule where the uh, channel or producer, I forget the field, is investigation discovery. But that wouldn't work either because there's some shows on here that are actually not from investigation discovery. They're like on Oxygen Network or Lifetime. So like Copycat Killers, that's a show I think it's on Oxygen. Uh, and there's some other ones too. I think it takes a killer um, some of these other ones are not like rich and acquitted. Some of these shows are not on the investigation discovery network. So long story short, we just put all the names of all the shows that we want to pull episodes out of in this single rule TV show field. And then we're going to add a rule here where play count is zero, which means they have not been watched and we only want to get five episodes. So basically five hours of content. And same as before, we're going to order it by date added. So this is going to give us uh, five shows that have not been watched by the most recent date they've been added into the system where the TV shows are one of these values. So that's how that works. Uh, might look like a lot looking at this, but really not that big of a deal. Uh, you, you know, so and then you got the channel there. And then for the documentaries, I think that one's very similar to the uh, cartoon one as well. So here's a playlist where uh, it's, we're calling it new documentaries and we're saying again, match all the rules. Uh, the first rule is the genre of the episode must be documentary. The play count must be zero, so it can't be watched. And in this one, we've got an extra rule I've added in here where uh, we want the runtime of the pulled documentary to be less than an hour and a half. So I don't want this thing to go pull a documentary that's three hours long or four hours long, like some of those episodes of American Experience or BBC Storyville. You know, just you know, don't get any documentary that's longer than an hour and thirty minutes. And in this case, we're getting ten. Uh, and same thing, we're getting uh, get them by the most recently added. So this is going to give us theoretically, you know, something like ten hours or fifteen hours of documentaries. So here we can just uh, run the playlist. And it will just go get us uh, 10 hours of documentaries that we could just run and, you know, nonstop as if we were watching a channel. 
um, minus, of course, all the commercials and things like that. So uh, it's a nice little tip for you if you were not aware of how to do that. So I hope that you found this video helpful. We'll talk to you guys later.